All right, so in this video, we're going to be uh, we're going to be uh, doing the in-class law problems. Okay, so uh, the first problem here, as we can see over here, a vessel loads 400 tons of deck cargo, resulting in a GM of negative 0.02 feet, a 9,000 ton displacement. What will be the angle of law? And it says use the stability data reference book. Okay, that means we're going to end up using these tables. Okay. So the formula we're going to want, the version of it we're going to want here, we're going to want to solve the formula for the uh, angle of law for theta. Okay, so theta for law is equal to uh, tangent, okay, the inverse tangent of uh, this, and we have to do this whole term here. We've got to do the square root on this whole term and then the inverse tangent on that. So that's uh, 2 gm over bm okay so in the problem they give us the gm it's uh you know negative two feet um and uh oh let me i forgot my parentheses here uh obviously two is two the bm though where are we going to get that from well we're going to use the stability data reference book so we're going to go into this table now so um, we're going to have to go in with displacement because they don't we don't have any drafts. We start off at nine thousand. We're going to add four hundred. So our displacement here is going to be nine thousand plus four hundred. Okay, so that's ninety four hundred. Okay. So our displacement ninety four hundred tons. We're going to assume it's salt water. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to go to the top, my, my scale of tons, and there's 9,000, there's 10,000, that's 9,500, there's 9,400. So I'm going to follow that down until it intercepts this line right here, okay, my saltwater tons. And now, from there, I'm going to go out horizontally, that's what this red line is, to the KM curve, all right, and over here to the B, uh, KB curve. So the intersection there, the red line and the KM curve, it looks like uh, that would be a, a um, um, KM of uh, 25.8. So before I continue much more, remember that BM, okay, this term BM equals KM minus KB, okay? So here it is here, BM is uh, 25, uh, KM is 25.8, and BM is about 10, so 25.8 minus 10 gives me 15.8, okay? So 25.8 minus 10 is a BM of 15.8. So that's what's going to go in there. So now i got to solve this. So this equals uh, tangent. The inverse tangent of the square root of 2 times uh, point 0.2. Okay, I'm just going to leave that negative out, all right, because square roots don't like those negatives too much. And then uh, that is going to be over 15.8. And when you solve that, okay, when you run that through your calculator and solve that, should get an angle of law of about nine degrees. Okay. All right, so that's nine degrees. All right, and that's the first problem. So now uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, take a look at the second problem here. So that was problem one. Let's do problem two now. Okay. Uh, vessel loads 250 tons on deck, uh, resulting in a negative GM of 0.3 on a uh, uh, on a 8,000 ton displacement vessel. What will be the angle of lol here? Okay, well, so um, we are going to have, uh, we started off with 8,000 tons, we're adding 250, so our displacement is going to be 8,250. Again, we're going to have to go in and get our BM. So uh, we know that BM is going to equal KM minus uh, KB, okay? So I'm a little trouble with my pen here. Just stand by a second. KM minus KB. So over here, uh, 8,000, 8,250, I slide down to my saltwater curve. I go out horizontally till I get here. And you should get something like 
okay? That's for my KM. And my KB should work out to be something like 8.8 .8 or so, okay? So that's about 8.8. .8. So 26.8 .8 minus 8.8 .8 turns out to be 18, okay? So that's 18 feet, okay? So we're going to use uh, basically the same formula, all right? Um, we're going to solve it for theta, all right? So the angle of lol is going to equal tangent, the uh, inverse tangent of square root. All right, now we're going to put in um, uh, 2, okay? And now we're going to put in our... Uh, our law was 0.3 feet, so that's 0 0.3. Again, I'm going to ignore that negative. Okay, and um, now I got to put my BM in, which was 18. Okay, and I'll solve for that term. And theta, law, is going to equal about 10.3 degrees. Okay, so that's good. All right, we've done two of them. We've got three to go. All right, well, let's look at three. Three is going to be a slightly different, uh, 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 well, actually, in three, we're going, to, we're going to calculate GM, okay? So we got to re, uh, we got to take this formula here, solve it for GM. So when we do that, all right, there's a couple differences here. One is that the formula is going to be in, in a different uh, uh, expression, but also now we have drafts, so we're going to enter our table with drafts. Okay, so let's see here. What do we got? Um, in this case, if I was to solve this formula for GM, this GM is going to be equal to the tangent of the angle of law, okay, squared, all right, times BM. All right, and that's all going to be divided by 2. Okay, so in this problem, uh, they're going to, let's see, they give us an angle of law. That's 8 degrees. So I'm going to I'm going to put that in here, tan of 8 degrees, and I'll square that after I uh, get that number. Uh, we're going to have to put our BM in, all right, and I'll divide that by 2. Well, what's BM? Well, uh, right now we're uh, 1709 and 1803, so aft forward. Well, it, you know, uh, there's six inches between those two, so I'll divide that six inch anyway. So that's going to be our mean draft here is going to be 18 feet. So uh, now we were previous problems we went in went in with displacement. Now I'm going to go in with a draft over here. Okay, so 18 feet. I go in across here, and here is my KB. It looks to me like it's about 9.5 feet. And here's my KM, looks to me to be about 26.2 feet. So BM is going to equal KM minus KB. That's 26.2 minus 9.5, 16.7. So we can just put that right in here. Okay. And when I solve that, uh, I should get a number that is 0 0.16. That's the number that I get. And I will assign, since I know that it's angle of law, uh, I'll assign a negative value to it, which simply means that uh, that that is um, that that 0 0.16 is above M. Okay, so now we've got problem three done. Let's work our way up to problem four. All right, so this problem is a little bit more complicated. Um, it's going to be a, a couple extra steps. Um, let me just go ahead and get this started over here. So. In this problem, you know, we're going to start off, we load some deck cargo, and that results in lol. So let me just kind of draw a little picture over here, what we kind of got going on. So this, this is a little bit more than 7 degrees, but, you know. All right, so we loaded some deck cargo, and, you know, our center of gravity went above M. So let's just say that M is here, and G is now up here, okay? And because of that, the vessel has lolled. Um, uh, some some amount here, seven degree list. Okay, so they want to know. So what we're going to do though is we're like, hey, you know, this law isn't good. Now we're going to load 
a bunch of stuff down here. We're going to load bunkers and we're going to stick 825 tons in the lower holds. And that should bring G back down and the vessel is going to upright itself. Okay. So right now we have G above M. That's GM, but it's negative. Okay. Because it's above. All right. So now we're going to do to do this. They want to know what the final GM is going to be after we stow, after we take on our bunkers and stow some stuff. Well, to start this off, we're going to start off by calculating the GM at this point, okay, um, with LAL. So we're going to use the, uh, the LAL formula. So the first thing we're going to do is, is to use the LAL formula to get GM, okay, to solve for GM. Then what we're going to do is, then we're going to... Um, uh, uh, we're going to load all this stuff. We're going to do theory of moments, okay, to calculate the new kg, okay, theory of moments. So we're going to have to play around in there a little bit, okay. You'll see as we go along. We're going to do theory of moments, okay. And, uh, and then after that, we're going to determine our final gm, okay. And final gm. In order to use this formula, I'm going to have to go into these tables. And in order to get my final GM, I'm going to have to go back into this table again. You're going to see each one of these steps. Let's just go ahead and do it. So uh, first up is our uh, LAL formula. All right. And as usual, it's the same formula. So we're going to do step one here. Okay. So uh, GM is going to be equal to uh, BM times the tangent of LAL theta. Okay. It's a good idea to write these formulas every time because this helps you memorize them. Because remember, you're going to have to uh, uh, memorize all these formulas for the Coast Guard exam. And also, uh, you have to memorize them for the stability exam. So, um, all right. So, we know that the angle of LAL here is 7 degrees. And we know that 2 is 2. We don't know what BM is. So, we're going to have to go into here. So, we got 17, 17 forward, 17.04 aft. Our mean draft is 17.02. So, um, okay, so here's the table we want. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, there's uh, each one of these little hash marks here is three inches. So two inches is going to be just less than the first one. So I slide over, I get my KM, looks like it's 26.7. And I get my uh, KB, I thought it was about 9.2. So my BM is 17.5. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. 17.5 times tangent. What was that? 7 degrees. That's squared. I'm going to divide that by 2. And uh, when I do all that little bit of math there, I get uh, a GM of 0.13 feet. Now remember, this is LAL. Um, so G is above M. So I'm going to sign it a negative uh, sign so I know it's uh, uh, the G is above M. Good. Okay. So that was step one. Now step two is we're going to get ready to do theory of moments. Well, we know to do theory of moments. Okay. So step two. Okay. Uh, theory of moments. So that's weight times distance is equal to moment. Well, we know that the, uh, the, um, the biggest weight is the ship itself, which we know the ship is, um, uh, um, Uh, for right here, actually, we're going to have to figure out what the, the weight of the ship is. We come over here, and uh, we're going to slide up, all right? So if we come to our draft, and we go to the salt water, and we slide up, it looks like the ship's displacement is about 8,500 tons, okay? So the weight of the ship for the light displacement is 8,500 tons, okay? Um, now, but what is the distance? Well, we need kg, okay? We need kg. Well, in order to figure out kg, what we're going to do is we're going to go, uh, we're going to take our km, okay, that's this, and we're going to add our gm, which is, in this case, negative 0.3. So uh, what was km? Well, km was uh, 26.7. So kg, usually the formula that we've been giving you is, is kg equals km minus uh, 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 GM. So what's our KM? Well, our KM, we already calculated, was 26.7. So 
So now we got to think carefully about this uh, GM here for a second. I know that if this is 26.7 and that's 0.13, I'm going to have to add those two together. Well, you can still stick with this formula. You just have to remember that you're subtracting a negative 0.13. And a negative minus a negative makes a positive, so I'm going to add all that. And I get uh, for that, I get 26.83. That's my kg. Okay? So this is my distance, 26.83. And when I do that, I multiply all that out, okay? Uh, I'm going to get uh, my moment will be 228055. 228055 foot tons, all right? So that's good. Now, I'm going to load 825 tons. So I'm loading that. That's going to be plus 825. And that is at a height of 11 feet. So that's times 11. And that moment is going to be 9,075. And I'm also going to load 500 tons of bunkers. So that's going to be plus. And that's at a height of 2.5 feet. Oh, that's very low. That should really help to bring G down and get rid of that lol. Uh, and uh, that works out to 1250. So I'm going to sum that all those things now. My weights now, my total displacement now is 9825. And uh, my uh, total moments are 238380. So if I take my total moments and I divide them by my total weights, that's going to be kg, which is, in this case, uh, should be 24.3. Okay? So after I do all that, my original km was uh, uh, 26.7, but now I'm at 24.3. So this is my gg. Okay, so that, that's my, uh, this is my new G, I should say, okay, 24.3. So, um, okay, but the thing is, is that M is no longer here. And you might say, well, why isn't M there anymore? Well, our displacement before was um, uh, 8,500, but now our displacement is 9,825. We added, you know, almost 1,500 tons. That certainly is going to change our draft. That's also, if it changes our draft, it's likely to change our KM. So what we've got to do now is we've got to go back into this table again to get the new KM. we got to get the KM, okay? So now we're in step three, which is the final GM. For the final GM, we want to get the KM at our new displacement. Okay, so I just so happen to have that already worked up here. So... Uh, our new displacement is 9825, so I go in at the, tab the table at 9825, and I come over here, and my uh, KM is going to be uh, 25.8. So, my new KM is 25.8 feet. It was 26.7. It's also moved down, okay? So, this is the new M here. So, I know that this is 25.8 feet, and I know that this is... 24.3 feet, so the difference between those two is going to be the GM. So GM is going to equal KM, the new KM, minus the new KG, which is um, 25.8 feet, uh, minus uh, 24.3 feet, And that gives us a new GM of 1.5 feet. And that is the final GM for the vessel. That is the answer to the problem. All right. So now we've got one problem left to go. It's problem five. Problem five is very similar to problem four. It's just that uh, there's more uh, weights that we're moving around. Okay. We're going to load a couple weights. We're going to discharge a couple weights. But we're going to follow the same steps. Okay. So... Uh, we're going to have to use the uh, law formula to calculate GM. 
Then we're going to do our theory of moments. Okay, so we're going to realize, boy, we got a 12 degree uh, uh, wall angle. Let's uh, load some stuff down below, but it looks like we want to discharge a little bit too. What's going to be our final GM? So we're going to follow these same steps. Okay, so uh, let's see here. This is problem five. So we're going to uh, lol, uh, uh, lol, all right. So let's just go ahead and um, you can write those steps down again on your sheet. If you want to pause this a second, I'm not going to write them again because I'm running out of room on my, uh, on my little thing here. All right. So let's go ahead. We'll pull up our next uh, table. All right. So I'm going to scroll this down here a little bit to give myself a little room and then we're going to get started. Okay. So problem five. First thing we want to do is calculate uh, our BM because we're going to need our BM to go into the, the, the formula. So our BM, as usual, is going to equal KM minus KB. Okay, so uh, we are a vessel, uh, uh, we're at 10,200 tons. So I go here at 10,200 tons, I come over here, there's my uh, uh, KM, 25.7. Over here is my KB, 10.6, so my BM is 15.1, all right? So BM is going to equal 15.1. I think you can do that math on your own now. So now we're going to do our formula. Okay, well, our formula, again, is going to be uh, GM. It's going to equal, okay, BM times uh, the tangent of theta squared, tangent of the angle of lol squared over 2. So our BM is 15.1, and our uh, angle of lol is 12 degrees. I'm going to square that and divide that all by 2. And I get, after I do all that, uh, I should get a GM of 0 0.34 feet. Okay, and since that's lol, I can go ahead and assign a negative value to it. Okay, now uh, I want to go ahead and uh, figure out my, uh, now I'm going to do theory of moments. Okay, so weight times distance equals moment. So the biggest weight is the ship itself. Okay, so I know that my ship at this point, before I do any loading or discharging, my weight is 10,200. And my distance of my kg, well, I'm going to have to figure that out. So kg is equal to km minus gm. So km, again, for this is 25.7 minus negative 0.34 so negative minus negative becomes a positive and I should get a kg my kg should equal 26.04 so that goes over here and when I multiply those two I should get a moment of about 265608 all right then uh, I'm going to discharge 550, so that's going to be minus 550. So that's going to subtract that moment. That's minus 550 from an upper hold. Hey, that makes sense. If I discharge it from a high point on the vessel, that's going to lower my G. That's good. So that's 28 feet. And that moment, uh, I'm going to reduce the vessel's moments by about 15,400. Okay, 15,400. That's nice. Then I'm going to load 950, pretty low down in the vessel. So I'm going to add 950. And that's going to be down at about 15 feet. So that's going to be plus uh, 14250. And then I'm going to load 950. Or, excuse me, I already loaded the 950. I got to load 800. All right. And that 800 is at about four feet. So I'm going to add that because I'm loading. And that's going to be 3,200. Okay. It's about the same weight, but because it's much lower, it's much less of a moment. And I'm going to discharge 300. And I'm going to discharge that from ballast. So that's about 2.5 feet. So that discharge is minus. So that's 750. And now I've got to sum all this stuff. 
So when I sum all these weights, I should get uh, 11100. And when I sum all these moments, I should get 266908. 266908. So if I divide my total moments by my total weights, I'm going to get my new kg. And that's going to equal 24.05 feet. Okay, let me write that again because that is a mess. You can't read that at all. Okay, so that is 24.05 feet. Okay, okay, all right. So now, boy, I loaded 11,000 tons onto the vessel. You can be sure that the draft has changed. So because the draft has changed, uh, I'm going to need to um, go back into this table again. Because what I'm going to do here now is, is I'm going to calculate my final GM. Well, my GM is going to be my KM minus my KG. Okay? So what's my KM? Well, now that I'm at 1,100, I slide down here. 1,100, I come over here. Uh, looks to me like that's about 25.5. And my uh, kg was 24.05. So when I do the subtraction there of those two, I get uh, 1.45. Okay, or 1.45 uh, 1 rounds up to 1.5. That's my new final GM.